class who really founded the school based mostly on Confucian principles. You know, the important relationships between, you know, children, parents, and elders, and, you know, just the basic moral principles of being a human being, which Confucius expressed so well and so clearly. So he really wanted it based on that. He was really, uh, really critical of education being uh, for the purpose of just being successful, making a lot of money, or having a lot of you know, influence and power in society, <coughs> or for fame, but especially for just being motivated by making a lot of money. And he thought the purpose of education is really to develop good people in society who are not just thinking of themselves, but want to benefit society. Based on mostly on Confucian principles, but it's a kind of uh, moral principles that seem to be um, you know, uniform principles for all kind of major religions and cultures. They have these bed bedrock moral ideals, which he used Confucian ways of expressing. <coughs> common custom for students at our school is that we bow to the teachers at the beginning of class and at the end of class. Why do we bow to teachers? Well, you will want to respect someone who's giving you knowledge, right? It's like, someone's giving you, say, a piece of gem, you want to respect them. It's the same thing for teachers, they're giving you knowledge. And that's, that's not something everyone can do or have, to have the ability to do or is willing to do. You know, I mean, this is just common knowledge. Everyone has access to it. But then still, the teacher is giving you in, in a form that he thinks will be useful for you. It's based on a Confucian model, you know, just to show respect. You know, uh, the idea is that formal rituals help to reinforce a certain attitude. The ideal is to get behind the spirit of doing that, and not just going, going through the motions, you know, without understanding the purpose. It's really to reinforce a, an attitude, a spirit of respect for education in general. Not for really that specific teacher, but just the idea of having a teacher who's uh, you know, devoted to educating students and having a respect for them. <clears throat> the purpose of education as uh, you know, intended by the founder, Master Juan, and the people who are committed to the school is to have people who are good, moral people with integrity in society who are you know, not just uh, academically talented and, uh, but also want to do things to help society, help people in society. So, the idea of being good people, not just, you know, smart people, but people who are going to use whatever smarts they have in any academic achievement to help people, help society as a whole, it's really, really important. Thinking, looking at the core value of like filial piety, reverence to parents, and those very close family relationships as being a foundation for your relationships in society. So. You want to look at all people in society as you would your mother, your father, your brother, your sister. You know, so you want to do things for their, on their behalf. Not things that would harm them or be out for your own personal benefit at the expense of them. Filial piety is both being respectful and caring to your parents and to your siblings. So like, like your parents, they raised you since birth. They helped you, your mom, your dad helped you raise money for your school, you went to school, they feed you, they teach you, they support you throughout your life when you're in middle school, high school, middle school, even through college, they help support you financially and emotionally. And I think that you should, filial piety is basically repaying this respect to your parents by caring for them, helping them out. When you go home, or if you live in the dorm, when you go home, you help them. And also for your brothers and siblings. They, they also live with you. You should also care for them. 
like we have an older brother, a younger brother, they also need some some support other than their parents. They need to be some, somebody closer to their own age. Being respectful to your elders because they they take care of you, they they take a lot of time to spend on you, a lot of money. So filial piety is just being respectful to your elders, your parents. Fairness, it's equality towards everyone. Seeing everyone the same, even perhaps even your enemies, people you don't like, your fan, your friends actually. You know, sometimes you'll be biased towards your friends or but when you're fair, you would treat everyone the same. Although you may not like someone, but you'll treat them as if they're your friends. It really just means be fair to everybody. Don't use discrimination. Because that fairness stresses the virtue of equality, which is one of the most important virtues of this country. That's what this country is based on, freedom and equality. So what it's trying to say is that in schools or when you're at home or when you're with your friends, try to be equal, try to be fair with them. Citizenship is taking part in both, not only your community, but your, in your school too. It's trying to help out in your school by the community service, to helping teachers, even providing your teacher or classmate with supplies. You can go help out in your community by doing community service, talking to your community, seeing how you can help out in community programs, events. That happens a lot in the school. In the school, weekly, you, you do once a week during one period, you do community service. You clean the restroom, you sweep the floor, you go outside, you sweep the street, take out the trash, you help the school. So you, the school doesn't need a janitor anymore because everybody's helping out, doing their part with the community. It's being loyal. <laughs> being loyal to one's country, serving one's country, serving one's people, not country. Serving the people. That's citizenship. Trustworthiness about being honest, but not only honest. You're also the kind of person that can have your friends back, and you never go back on your word. You're someone people can rely on to get the job done. Being truthful, not just in your words, but also in your actions and every in everyday life, um, because you don't say you know the truth, not just telling the truth, but you actually perform what you say. If somebody tells you something, they say, oh, don't tell anyone. Of course you're not going to tell anyone. Then you're being trustworthy. Respect is, is related to fairness. It's having the proper manners and proper attitude and actions towards everyone. You respect you give certain respect to certain people, perhaps proper, a different type of respect for teachers, a different type of, sort of respect for your friends and fellow classmates. Looking up to a person and not looking down on them. Respect is treating people the way you want to be treated. Kindness is showing compassion to people who are in need or just simply being a compassionate person. Kindness is a virtue in which you are nice to Integrity is um, following your own morals and like, following your own principles of how to be a person. Integrity means to do the right thing, even when others aren't around. If you see a little kid stealing from a store, then you would be, you would show integrity and tell him, oh no, that's not the right thing to do. And you should tell him, kind of prevent him from stealing, so that would be integrity. Humility is not arrogance and learning how to be a modest person and yeah.
Honestly. Placing others before yourself. That's humility. Whenever you see, you never see a movie at the end. There's always the credits, which is a huge list of people who supported. Like partially shows humility because of the publisher of the film. So all the people who supported him, who helped him, even the littlest bit, just trying to show that not only you took part in doing a community project or a project in your school, like other people helped you in, in doing that project. It's not only you; it's other people that helped you. This helps because you also get not only to feel like. It also like puts down your ego, makes you not that mean or like self-centered. It makes you see that oh, there's other people who are helping me. There's other people who want, who've done this for me. I should. And this also links to other virtues like oh, I should repay them for this. They've been so nice to me. It helps you be more like relaxed and like focused on others, not only on yourself, so you can see the world in a bigger view, not only in your own small. The biggest thing is there's a lot of uh, <coughs> close personal relationship because it's so small with students and, and teachers and students and students. You know, for us we have a lot of, you know, majority of the high school are boarding students or really close to the community. So there's uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of much more closer contact and more uh, developed personal relationships. Of course, we have, you know, by nature, because most of the students in the high school are Asian, there's a lot of more Asian culture in the, in the school. And the ideals of, of course, Buddhism and, as I mentioned, Confucian ideals that really uh, permeate the whole kind of culture of the school. So it's an interesting blend because we're in a modern Western society, and yet, it's kind of like uh, the school and the whole city of 10,000 Buddhists has like a, its own little subculture. As being part of a bigger Western society, but still very uh, unique Buddhist Confucian kind of uh, uh, community. <clears throat> what I like about this school is you have so many different cultures coming together. So. Before, I was kind of narrow-minded, and I said, oh, I don't want to be around these, like, foreign kids that don't know how to speak English, that have accents, but then, and, and yeah, I was wrong, so I spent some time here, I, like, kind of got a brief explanation of how their country was like, like how Malaysia is like, how kind of Taiwan is like. Um, Europe, we have a guy from Luxembourg, so it's, it's nice to kind of see the world, but in, at your school, like different, different cultures. I like it how it's so small and you're so, you're so busy, you have the opportunity to do all kinds of stuff and take on all kinds of roles as leaders or even just scrubbing the toilet. No one steals from me. And then, no one takes alcohol. No one takes drugs. And I think that what I what what I really like about this is, well, I guess it's different. It gave it gave me something to really gives me a sense of freedom to do well to do whatever I want. Although the rules are really strict here, but then I feel that I mean, it's just the rules you live by and then the rest is just fun. I wake up in the morning at 5.45, wash my teeth, get ready, you know, the daily routines. Cleansing, rush down at 6 o'clock, 
to do morning ceremony for 20 minutes. Eat breakfast at 6.20. And then 7.50, school starts. 10 flag ceremony. Normally we have meditation class and yeah we just meditate. Around 8.45, Envir AP Environmental Science. And I come back to I come back to the school and attend pre-calculus class. After that, we have meal offering, and we go to the Buddha Hall, and then we offer. After lunch summary, we go to lunch. After that, we can go to have recess, which is about 10 minutes, and in the recess, we can have a study hall or we could play basketball outside on the basketball court. And after, so during 11.55 I have English. And then 12.45, Chinese. I have an AP Wizard class. And for the last period, I have PE. So where are you going today? I'm going down to the dining hall to eat dinner. Oh, uh, dinner? What time does dinner start? Uh, 5, 5.15. Okay. At 7.30, come back from Dragon Dance practice, take a shower, um, and I go to school at 8 for my study hall. What's up, Uday? I'm tired from all religions. So I'm gonna go back to sleep. Alright, good night. Yeah, good night, everybody. 10 o'clock, I go back, brush my teeth, dress, go to sleep around 10 or 11. And after that, I wake up at 5 o'clock. I mean, oh yeah, I'm gonna take a lot of stuff from this school. I mean, before I used to be, yeah, what I, as I said earlier, narrow minded and kind of, I wasn't really humble, I was kind of cocky. I said, oh, you know, I don't want to be around these people, I'm too good for them. And I kind of wasn't filial to my parents also. So then, I mean, this school taught me those things, to be humble, to be filial, to be respectful. So then, I think I definitely changed as a person, as a better person. Especially, I would, I would take the eight virtues and not just the academics, the knowledge that I learned, but also the teachings of being, you know, 
being a proper human, contributing to the world. And I would take with me my memories. What animals do you see the most around here? The peacocks. 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 Peacocks!